Hello, Kevin Washington. Hello, I'm Amara Wyman. Amara, tell me about when you go to school and what grade you're in and what, what is your favorite subject in school? I go to Abington Senior High School. I'm uh -huh. in the 12th grade and my favorite subject, I would say, is math. Math? What about math that you like? I like the intricate thinking part of it. Mm -hmm. It really challenges you. So tell me about the why and what your experiences have been at the why. Well, I started the Y in elementary school. I started in summer camps and I used to do dance camp, adventure camp. Adventure camp, we go to like different types of places like farms. And I went to high school achievers and I've been doing that for the past four years. Tell Five me about years. the achievers program. What about it that you like? I like the college visits. We do a lot of college visits and we talk about stuff like government, uh, fashion design, photography, that. And then we come together and we share our thoughts. What is Amira going to be five years from now, 10 years from now? What does she see for herself? Hmm? Amira in five years is probably in med school, okay. studying dermatology. Really? Is that what you want to do? Yes. My freshman year, I had severely bad acne and I had to go to dermatologist every single month. And they would just walk in, you know, look at my face and leave. And having like more melanated skin, they don't really know what's wrong with you and stuff like that. So I was like, I'll just do this by myself. So I put stuff together, try to figure out what was wrong with my skin. And I try to fix it. And you want to go to an HBCU school? Yes. Spelman. Spelman. Why Spelman? I just feel that the sisterhood there is amazing. You can't really get an HBCU experience anywhere else. It's one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And Spelman really, it's a really prestigious school. It's number one. You're a very mature 17 year old. You really have a very focused mindset about who you are and what you want to do. That's very important. Where'd that come from? Mom, dad, where'd it come from, huh? My mom and just seeing people like around me really succeed, like I want that. Now, who would you say is the closest to you other than your family? Probably Miss Robin. The reason I ask that is because as I look at you and I look at the confidence that you have, and I wonder where did it come from? More times than not, she was an adult outside of the family that you have had this relationship with. That's why I asked that, because you really are a very confident young lady. Thank you. And Who you was know, yours? Huh? And it was Bill Morton. <laughs> he found me at the age of 10 at the YMCA, and I knew him from the time I was going to the Y, gave me my first job at the YMCA. He was my um, adult that I talked to quite a bit outside of the family, and that helped me uh, become who I am, I think. So, so as you think about moving forward in the career and the community, where would you like to make an impact for yourself and for the community? And what would that look like? I would make an impact in my own community and here, really. Like, I've met most of the most impactful people and had most of the most impactful experiences at the YMCA. Mm -hmm. Like, this is basically my childhood and it's yours too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always say the same. But in order to impact, Yes, you need to inspire. Uh huh. You need to promote change. And if you want change, you have to do something about it. So you think the overall thing about reaching back and giving back is such a key aspect of all of us, for all of us to do. Yes. And what advice would you give to me and the four million other Y leaders um, to help me with personal goals and careers path? Well, quite frankly, Amara, you don't need any of my advice. <laughs> But if you, since you asked, and I have a couple of thoughts. One is um, continue to focus on the things that you're doing in school. And they're not only looking for people with A's and B's, or yeah. they're looking for somebody like that's well-rounded, that's done some volunteer work, that's worked, that's got a good character. They're looking for that and you bring that. So keep doing those kinds of things other than what you do in school. I'm pretty sure you are an honor roll, right? Yeah. I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't have to ask that. I knew I have my induction tomorrow. Oh, are you in the National Honor Society? Yes. <laughs> See, these kinds of things I know from who you are and how you present yourself. But keep doing that. Study hard, but also have some fun. You know, don't miss out on the fun aspect because that helps round you out. Secondarily, find someone, and I think you find someone that you can talk to outside of your parents about other things and make sure that they're consistent with the kind of values that your parents represent. And when you're in college, which you will be soon, don't be afraid to ask for help because they may go in some classes like, I don't know what this is about. I'm not sure. Don't be afraid to ask. But it's really a joy to talk to you, Amara. You are a strong example of what the future looks like for, the, for not only the why, but for the world. And with that, I'm extremely positive about what's going to happen in the future because of people like you. Thank you. Right.